Solution Cooperatives. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 292. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 51 c 3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly up progress update number 292, October 28, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on our planet and to build self-replicating, sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as a pathway to global sustainability within our lifetime. With that said, what I'd like to talk about today is the foundation of that, solution cooperatives. What one community is creating is solution cooperatives, and these solution cooperatives are the foundation of those teacher, community, teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs that I just mentioned. And we are covering all aspects of sustainable civilization so that we can move our planet to global sustainability. And when I say all aspects of a sustainable civilization, I don't just mean food, energy, and housing, and that's definitely a part. We have the food, energy, and housing is a foundation. You can see that happening in the background of the video right here are the seven different sustainable villages, the sustainable duplicable city center. These are the foundations of the housing aspect. We are also creating open source and do-it-yourself instructions, tools, tutorials, and resources for highest good food, for highest good energy models, for highest good fulfilled living models, for highest good education models, highest good economic models, as well as true earth stewardship. And we're putting all these things together and we're making them easy enough, affordable enough, and we want to demonstrate this as attractive enough so the idea can become, so these models can become self-replicating. And this is why we're designing the seven different sustainable village models, because we want one place where people can come and they can stay in a shipping container home, or they can stay in a cob home, or they can stay in an earth bag home, or they can stay in a compressed earth block home or recycled materials village. Experience that. And if they like what they experience, go and build a home like that for yourself. Or join one community, or bring together a group of family and friends, 20 to 50 people, and create your own Solution Cooperative, working together globally to create solutions that can benefit all of us, covering all the aspects of a sustainable civilization. And we are open sourcing and free sharing them as so that they can be replicated as either individual components or as a complete teacher demonstration hub, bringing the resources where they are needed most by building teacher demonstration hubs an outreach process that takes resources where they need it most, but not just the physical resources, the financial resources, but also the knowledge resources. And we believe that if we can create solution cooperatives around the world, and these environments are designed to provide everything that a person needs, as I mentioned, the food, the energy, the housing, but also the education models, the fulfilled living models, the recreation, the social architecture, the economic models, everything that people need to live lives of abundance, happiness, and that are better than the way that most people are living right now. From that place, we think that the majority of people, when they have enough, we believe in humanity. And we believe that the majority of people, when they have enough, and it doesn't require a majority, a significant enough percentage of people, when they have enough, when all their needs are met, and one community is leading this, when people have enough, we believe that they'll want to help other people. And we think, and science supports this idea. We are a compassionate, empathetic people in general. We want to do the right thing. When we see somebody hurting, we want to help them. When we see somebody needing, if we have the resources to help, we want to help. And so one community is creating a place where people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life can come together, be a part of a solution cooperative where all their needs are met. And in return, at least with one community, we ask that they be a part of our team and help us give to the world, create what the world needs to create a sustainable civilization, to move the entire planet to sustainability. And we're doing this because we've run the numbers and we know that if you, if we can launch one community with just 20 to 50 people and that community can, can motivate and inspire two additional communities of 20 to 50 people to start and one community will grow to a population eventually of thousands of permanent residents hosting hundreds of thousands of visitors annually. 
And so, but just starting with 20 to 50 people, and if we can inspire two more communities the next year, and if the, us and those two communities can inspire four more the year after that, and eight the year after that, and 16 the year after that, if you ran those numbers for a full 30 years, you would include the population of the entire planet. And that is not really going to happen. But it could, if the model is demonstrated as beneficial enough and as good enough to be as, as better, as better enough, as, as better than the way that most people are living right now, the vast majority of people will move in this direction. And that is the foundations of our self-replicating model. And the idea that it's not ideological and doesn't require everybody to participate. Only a small percentage of the human population needs to participate in such a way that we, such that we could positively and permanently impact the lives of everybody on this planet. We can address homelessness. We can address global poverty. We can address global war. We can address global education quality, social injustice and inequality, food quality, air quality, water quality. We can, adjust, we can address in a way that is individually beneficial enough to become self-replicating. We can address climate change. All of these things can be addressed. The knowledge exists. The desire exists. The technology exists. We just need a place where people who carry that consciousness for the highest good of all can come together and be taken care of in such a way that they can give freely, completely, and fully of their gifts and their desire to make a difference in the world. And that is what One Community is doing. And this is the foundation of our solution cooperatives. And everything that you see happening in the background are the open source tools, tutorials, and resources that are all volunteer, 100% unpaid, nonprofit organization is creating for the good of all life on this planet to make a difference, to create the world that we know is possible, that works for everybody within our lifetime. This is what we're up to. So with that said, here's one week of our team's all volunteer teams, progress and accomplishments, working toward that goal, creating solution cooperatives that can change the world for the benefit of everyone. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team worked on the One Community Home Shares page to improve its readability. We did this using Yoast, and you can see the improvements in some of the process here. This page is now 100% complete. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 27th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, he finished adding in the rest of the table and bench details, added bolts and nuts for attaching the swivel, and more parts details. Mike Kowalski, game developer, also finished his 22nd week helping update our renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike did final touch-ups and rendered these four renders showing the complete Earthbag Village. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, also continued working on the Earthbag Village. Here's weekly update 135 from Dean. His focus this week was creating several more versions of our ADA-compliant bathroom and kitchen layout and starting the section views. The final design we decided on is the largest one in the top right corner here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued working in SketchUp on the duplicable city center dining dome roof. We added triangle labels and measured all triangle sides and determined the angles between the triangle and horizon for each row. We also worked on the structure for the social dome and started working on the windows for the living dome. You can see some of this work here. The core team also continued adding the lead, heating, and air conditioning details to the city center HVAC design page. This week we finished the second half of the lead HVAC related indoor environmental quality credits explained section. You can see some of this work here, and this brings the addition of these details to 100% complete. And the core team working with Dipti Dondurker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 101st week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was finishing the remaining 50% of the social dome lighting test using different colored lights. 
so we could create and add to the website the graphics shown here. This completes these tests for the entire structure. Aparna Tandon, architect, also continued with her third week helping with the design and evaluation details for applying the well building standards to the Duplical City Center. This week, she researched and identified the lead features that contribute in achieving the well standards and identified the features applicable to Duplical City Center. You can see some of this work here. Do Feng, civil engineer, also completed his 25th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the Duplical City Center Sprinkler and Emergency Systems Open Source Hub. This week, he finished all the spreadsheet calculation updates for zones C and D, created the parts list for the complete system, and resized the reservoir. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team did a final review of the apiary hive setup parts and equipment and added both to the website. The core team also continued writing the behind the scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we continued the research of chicken coops and viewed step-by-step -step instruction videos for building hoop pens, simple, portable houses for small poultry flocks. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished updating the final seven of our Help Wanted pages for volunteers. You can see some of this work here. Jin Hua, marketing specialist and web and graphic designer, also continued collaboration on our new online marketing strategy and our related grant by creating two more keyword tutorial videos. You can see some screenshots of these here. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his third week helping the marketing team. This week, Emilio researched keywords for industrial designer, graphic slash web designer, and project manager. And the Highest Good Network software team consisting of Samya Manahar and Shuber Mital continued developing the software. This week, they completed adding the time archive functionality, the delete time entries functionality, set up a parallel development environment, fixed a bug that made a user unable to update their email address, fixed an issue with names not appearing correctly in emails for blue badges, and an issue of auto assignment of blue squares not triggering as per the schedule. There you have it. There's one week of our all-volunteer nonprofit team's work creating solution cooperatives for the highest good of all life on this planet. If you'd like to see more details, or if you'd like to see more details, uh, more specifics, links to all the open source content, everything we're doing, everything that's in this video, and so much more, visit our weekly updates blog, visit our website, take a look, everything is there. If you'd like to help out, visit our helping page. There's lots of different ways to help out. The easiest way, of course, is to uh, join us and share our information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We're on LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, about 15 other social media networks, Facebook, of course, to make it as easy as possible. Uh, and of course, subscribing to the YouTube channel is something you can do right now. We do appreciate that. Your subscriptions, ring that bell if you'd like to get weekly updates and manage your updates that way. Uh, and uh, thank you.
Thanks for watching to the end. Thank you for the donations that we get. Thank you for the comments that we get. Thank you for the shares that we get. Every little bit makes a difference. Just watching to the end of the video is appreciated. Thank you for being aware of what it is that we're doing. And uh, as I've said many times before, we're an all volunteer, 100% unpaid uh, team. So if you're donating to our project, 100% of donations go to forwarding our open source mission. They don't go to a paycheck for me or anybody else on the team. So it makes a big difference. Uh, if you're watching the end, that shows support. We do appreciate that. If you send us emails, comments, or anything like that, it helps us improve everything that we're doing. And uh, you're appreciated. Thanks for being a part of our project in whatever way works best for you. And of course, until next week, we will keep on keeping on. Thanks.